Hello, guys and gals, and welcome. Hold on, I need to get my uh, my sunglasses on. This character is very bright. So, uh, <laughs> so there have been a lot of crashes. Uh, if you have crashed, which you may have since this patch came out, um, and it seems to have to do with the assassin specifically, although um, it's not dissimilar to the issue with the shank bug which is where all the effects from Shank on the screen at any given time can potentially cause your game to crash. This has been happening ever since launch, and uh, honestly, I think it might have been happening before Diablo 2 Resurrected ever came out. Um, it's a number of effects on the screen issue, not a hardware issue. I want to stress that as much as I can, because I have um, gotten data from a large number of people and a large number of systems, and more often than not, the people who are apparently having the issues are running things like a 4090 Ti, like the best CPU that money can buy, freaking liquid coolers, 64 gigs of RAM, and everything else in the world, and they're still having the issue. And because it's not specifically your system. Um, in fact, I've actually tested with things like MSI Afterburner and um, and hard, you know, hardware information and look to see like what's going on like uh, temperature wise, clock cycle wise and whatnot. It, it's not stressing out the computer at all. The computer is actually quite cool and in most situations there's no issue at all with uh, with like uh, you know load or the system straining under the game. Um, it seems to be specifically the number of lighting effects that are on the screen. Um, and in my research, I came across some interesting data, which was basically that the number of light effects on the screen can be restricted by changing these two settings right here, um, which don't really have any impact on the way the game looks at all. In fact, when I turned them down, I actually felt like it looked better than when they were on very high. And after I checked, both of my settings were on ultra, um, and I was crashing all the time. Now, I have tested this for a full day before reporting this because I wanted to make sure that the fix worked. And I have not crashed a single time since I have turned VFX quality to low and VFX lighting to low. Um, I have also changed um, anti-aliasing to off and anti-stropic filtering to 1% one, one times. Um, and the reason why I did these was because there was another article that was talking about how the lighting effects had to be constantly um, sharpened, and every single lighting effect that was on the screen was getting sharpened. Um, and when you had like four or 5,000 lightning effects on the screen, it could somehow cause the system to kind of like um, hit like a maximum number limit during that time period, which caused an issue. But overall, with just these two settings right here, um, I have seen no crashes in the entire time that these settings have been on low. Now, this does not, unfortunately, affix the meteor spam issue. So for those of you who um, may very desperately want to spam your Phoenix Strike meteor, um, I don't know what to tell you. Um, it still lags up the game when you spam more than a certain number of effects, and this, again, has to do with the number of effects on the screen. Meteor is made up of 18 projectiles. Um, when it hits the ground, it burns with 18 little fire projectiles that sit on the ground. When you are spamming your Dragon Talon, uh, which is definitely something that can be done, Dragon Talon has seven kicks. Those seven kicks are three-frame kicks. You can spam 241 Dragon Talons in the time it takes for that fire to disappear, which ends up being something like 4,000 plus fire effects on the ground at any given time. And it doesn't seem like the system is having trouble rendering the fire effects, but more so that the system is just simply overwhelmed with the sheer number of fire effects. And it seems like the engine itself, the game engine, not the computer, but the game engine starts locking up because the fire effects are too many for the game to handle. Um, so just a small little update. I didn't want to make this video too long. Change those settings, just those settings, VFX quality low, VFX quality, lighting quality low, and, uh, and also, you know, report back to me. Like, if you have crashed before this fix... And, uh, and you play for a couple days with this fix, I want you to let me know if you crash again, uh, because I need to know if it works, right? Um, but I have tested it myself, and it does, in fact, seem to prevent the crashing. So, um, yay. 
Set the minimum frame limit. Allow for dynamic scales. We don't need them. We need them to do. But what are you doing at, 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 at zero? Psh. Let's go to sixty. Um, overall, the MA Sin has been a very laggy creation, and uh, and I've been having a lot of fun with her though. Um, I guess let's end the video with a little bit of a light show, shall we? Let's go, let's go light up the screen. We must only been five minutes and 30 seconds. We need a little bit of a, I need a reason to put on these sunglasses, right? So let's, let's, let's just have fun, shall we? So let's go ahead and grab our charges here. I don't want a two, a three, a four, a hip, and then a one, and then a two. Yep, alright. And then a one, two, three. A one, two, three, four. All the weather outside is frightening. And the mood inside the lightning. And the MA sends blowing stuff up. And it's so bright, I need sunglasses inside. Um, as you can see, turning the VFX lighting down doesn't really have that much effect on the way it looks. It still looks very pretty. Like, I'm not exactly sure what the hell the VFX quality and the VFX lighting quality is actually doing. But, ooh, an eye over. <laughs> uh, but, um, in, in general, it doesn't seem like turning those settings down has a huge impact on the way that the game looks. And it also seems to prevent the crashing, which I think is the most important part here. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, even when it's just a little PSA on uh, how to keep your game from locking up and, and falling down. And as always, keep watching.